Thanks, Rob. <laughs> and uh, and uh, thank you very much, Rod, for allowing me this opportunity. And I have to reiterate what, uh, what Rob said before. I think uh, we've just had fantastic talks so far, and especially Mary and, uh, and Lucy's talks, really taking us, I think, to that next step where we've, I guess, up till now focused on the, on the merits of, of low carb and uh, really moving on to the next step of, of how we actually implement that, uh, that program. So you've done a fantastic job, ladies. I'm very impressed. All right. Um, these are my disclosures, and, and once I'd made this slide, I, I realised that it actually sort of, uh, sort of summarises my journey, really. Uh, a few years ago, I got involved in a, in a uh, not-for-profit called Sugar by Half, uh, with the aim, obviously, of trying to reduce the amount of added sugar by, by a half. Then, uh, then someone suggested I should write a book, and I thought that was a silly idea, but uh, one thing led to another, and, uh, and the book came out. And then, most recently, I, I guess, you know, the elephant in the room I, I, is obviously type 2 diabetes, and, uh, and we've been sort of grappling with the idea of how can we tackle type 2 diabetes, and hence, um, we've uh, initiated this program called Defeat Diabetes. But let's go back and, and talk, uh, summarise uh, what we know about diabetes. I mean, I'm not telling you anything you don't know, that there are nearly 600 million people with, uh, with diabetes worldwide. And in this country, you know, we have 280 Australians developing diabetes every day. Uh, it's one every five minutes. Uh, there's nearly two million Australians with, uh, with type 2 diabetes. There's probably another two million who have pre-diabetes, who unless they make significant changes to their lifestyle, will probably go on and develop type 2 diabetes. So that's four million out of uh, how many adults in Australia? Maybe 18 million uh, adults. That's a hell of a lot of people in this, uh, in this country. Uh, 100,000 plus develop diabetes every year and the costs are incredibly high. What could we do with $14.6 billion rather than treat diabetes? And we know it's not the diabetes that's the issue, it's all the complications of, of diabetes. I mean, people say, oh, well, not many people die from diabetes, yes, but, they, but it's the most common cause of blindness, the most common cause of kidney failure, it's probably the most common cause of heart disease, dementia, Alzheimer's, etc., etc. It's a horrible, horrible disease. And it just seems to be getting worse and worse, not just in this country, but in all Western countries. I love this saying, I've mentioned this before, from Paul Zimmett, who's a very eminent uh, Melbourne endocrinologist, was giving a lecture at the University of Michigan. And he said, the diabetes epidemic, obesity and type 2 diabetes, is likely to be the biggest epidemic in human history. Now, we've just shut the whole country down for a so-called epidemic that is tiny compared to the type 2 diabetes epidemic. I don't see anyone talking about shutting the country down or shutting the junk food industry down or shutting the sugar industry down to solve the biggest epidemic in human history. So what are we told about diabetes? We're told that diabetes is a chronic progressive disease. That's the classic, that's what I was taught as a medical student, it's what they still teach medical students. There's a lovely uh, page on, on the uh, dietdoctor.com website the, the things that we're told about type 2 diabetes. Virtually all diabetes specialists, doctors and researchers believe that type 2 diabetes is a chronic and progressive disease. Once you have type 2 diabetes, it will eventually get worse, no matter what you do. No amount of dietary or lifestyle changes will alter the natural course of the disease. So you might as well accept it. And medications may help manage the disease, but there is no hope of actually curing or reversing type 2 diabetes. Pretty sad, really, isn't it? Very depressing. What does Diabetes Australia say on their website? Over time, many people with type 2 diabetes will also need tablets, and some may eventually require insulin. It's important to note that this is normal, and taking tablets or insulin as soon as they are required can result in fewer long-term complications all about this chronic progressive disease, inevitable progression. Well, let's go, what is type 2 diabetes? Type 2 diabetes is a state of carbohydrate toxicity. Simple as that. We're intolerant of carbohydrates. What is the recommended diet for type 2 diabetes? 
a low fat, high carbohydrate diet. Unbelievable. Doctors, we're supposed to be intelligent. But I think sometimes we leave our brains in medical school and don't actually use them after medical school, with obvious exceptions. <laughs> Almost got into trouble there. <laughs> the reality is type 2 diabetes is a reversible condition. It's a quote from Professor Roy Taylor, very eminent uh, diabetes researcher from Newcastle, England, who's done a lot of wonderful research in this line. Now that, if you say that to most of the medical profession, they'll look at you as if you're crazy. And yet, there is so much evidence in the literature, and I don't need to go through it all, but there is paper after paper that shows that a low-carb lifestyle approach to the management of type 2 diabetes can be very effective. This is just the latest systematic review that came out in January uh, this year with uh, Grant Brinkworth from the CSIRO as one of the, uh, the co-authors. And this systematic review of the effect of low-carbohydrate diets on remission of type 2 diabetes included 23 trials. Compared with controlled diets, on the basis of moderately, moderate certainty evidence at six months, low-carb diets were associated with a large increase in remission of diabetes. It can't be more clear than that. There are so many papers that say the same thing. And not just diabetes, weight loss, triglycerides, insulin resistance and so on. The evidence is overwhelming. And yet why is the medical profession so blind to it? Now, this is David Unwin's latest paper. He's been mentioned before as a GP in Southport, the UK, who has transformed his whole practice by adopting a low-carb approach. And he's achieved a 46% drug-free type 2 diabetes remission rate. Again, you say that to endocrinologists and they refuse to believe you. And those with prediabetes, 93% became no, uh, reduced to the non-diabetic threshold. Interestingly, the participants who started with the worst blood sugars saw the greatest improvements. So pretty, pretty impressive. And as many of you will have seen from their PHC website in the UK, where they review all the, uh, all the trials, comparing the results of low-carb versus low-fat diets in type 2 diabetes, the evidence is overwhelmingly in favour of low-carb diets. And yet, the recommended diet for type 2 diabetes is still a low-fat diet. So I think it's pretty clear that there is ample evidence that a low-carb program works in type 2 diabetes. The issue then is, how are we going to present that approach? And I just want to spend the next few minutes reviewing some of the online programs and apps around the world that uh, have tackled this, and looking at the global digital experience in this area. So first of all, I guess we always start with the diabetes.co.uk website. It's been going now for a number of years, and they have a uh, low-carb program that was initially free and is now a subscri subscription-based model. And they have had over 430,000 people complete that program. It's a web-based program that most recently uh, they've also adapted to an app-based program called Grow Health. And if we look at their results, their 12-month results were published and showed that their participants with elevated baseline HbA1c who engaged with all, the, all 10 of their weekly modules in their program reduced the, their HbA1c from 9.2% to 7.1%. Now that's a massive reduction. I mean, it doesn't sound very much, it's only 2%, but in diabetic terms, that's a massive reduction. As well as that, they lost an average of nearly 7% of their body weight. So clearly effective and very popular. Ironically, uh, that's how the Daily Mail presented the uh, results of that, uh, that study. <laughs> the, uh, the irony of the dairy milk uh, ad straight above it was uh, well, maybe lost on them, maybe it was deliberate, I'm not, uh, I'm not sure. But again, you know, that summarises what Lucy was saying, is that you know, even the good news about a low-carb approach is surrounded by <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> it shows what we're, we're dealing with. 
But amazingly, I mean, the, uh, the NHS has adopted this, uh, this program and, uh, and given it approval, uh, which is pretty exciting, really. And the UK is way, way above that. Can you imagine, you know, Medicare funding, uh, you know, these guys' program or, or one of the other programs? I think we're a long way from that, unfortunately. So we've got a lot of work to do. Uh, let's talk about the US experience. Many of you will have heard of, of the, uh, the firm called Verta Health. Verta was a, uh, a program uh, initiated by uh, Sammy Inkinen, who was a uh, self-made billionaire who uh, made a lot of money. And, uh, and uh, at the same time as Sammy was uh, making a lot of money with a, uh, one of those realestate.com uh, websites, um, he was also uh, winning his age group at the Hawaii Ironman. And uh, which, you know, pretty amazing guy, really. Uh, and yet he developed type 2 diabetes. And he, he said to himself, well, you know, I'm arguably the fittest person of my age group in the whole world. How on earth could I have developed type 2 diabetes? Anyway, he then uh, he looked into it, did his research, and realised it was probably because of the massive amount of carbohydrates that uh, many elite endurance athletes consume on a, on a long, regular basis. And so he resolved that his aim in life, to use the, the money that he'd, uh, he'd made, was to, uh, to cure or to put the 100 million Americans with type 2 diabetes to reverse their diabetes. And he established a, a business called Verta Health with a number of low-carb experts. Uh, Steve Finney, who's very familiar to, uh, to um, uh, the low-carb down under community. Uh, Steve's been out a, a number of times. Uh, and, and Dr. Volek, uh, Dr. Helberg, and, and various others have, uh, have done a fantastic job. And they, their program is very different uh, to, um, to the UK program. I mean, it's much more extensive, it's much more hands-on. And uh, it involves uh, dedicated health coaches, uh, continuous medical supervision, and um, it, it's, it's a very expensive program, um, typically of... Uh, it, the United States, the health system there is, is, uh, is very expensive, as we know, and, but a lot of these pro this program now is covered by various uh, insurance schemes. And so it's, the, the principles are the same. It's basically it's a low-carb uh, lifestyle eating approach. And to their credit, uh, the Verta program have been very good at publishing their results. They've published their, uh, their three-month results, their 12-month results, their two-year results, and most recently, their, uh, their results at 3.5 years, which is probably the longest large-scale um, research on uh, low-carb eating in, uh, in diabetes. They've also looked at uh, the effect of cardi uh, cardiovascular risk factors and other issues such as uh, uh, fatty liver and, uh, and sleep. And uh, really, they've been very productive with their research. So what have they found? they found 60% reversal of type 2 diabetes, 94% of insulin users reducing or uh, reduced or eliminated uh, usage, and a reduction in HbA1c of 1.3. Again, doesn't sound a lot, but very clinically significant in, uh, in patients with type 2, uh, type 2 diabetes. And you can see the, uh, from the, the graphs here the uh, effect on HbA1c, blood glucose, on, on insulin and, uh, and their insulin resistance uh, and medications are all very dramatic. Similarly, uh, weight loss and reduction in, uh, in hypertension, very impressive. So I guess that's the international experience. Um, and sure, Australians can have access to those, those programs, but we thought, well, maybe it's time for an Australian version of a low-carb program, web-based or app-based. Basically, we want to talk about Vegemite rather than Marmite. <laughs> so over the last uh, 12 months or so, um, we've been developing a program called uh, Defeat Diabetes, which um, is an app-based program at the moment. Uh, there'll be a web-based program come out later, a similar program come out later in the year, but uh, we decided we'd do one at a time and we've had an app-based uh, program that was launched in, uh, in January and, uh, and is available on a subscription basis. Our purpose, obviously, is to eradicate type 2 diabetes in Australia. Might as well aim high. And, uh, and our short-term goal is to, uh, is to sign up 100,000 people uh, of those 
2 million with, with type 2 diabetes and uh, we believe that the program can be very effective in, uh, in managing their type 2 diabetes. Uh, what makes it unique? Firstly, as I said, it's Australian. So uh, it's Australian presenters, Australian recipes, Australian foods. Secondly, it's doctor and dietitian led. It's not a, uh, a celebrity based program. It's, uh, it's all doctor and dietitian led. And thirdly, and probably most importantly, it's completely evidence based. So it's based on latest medical science. Everything that we present in there can be uh, substantiated with, uh, with medical science. We have uh, three components to, to the, the program. We have a learn, a plan, and an eat. So in the learn section, we have uh, uh, a number of, uh, of videos. Um, we have 13 steps that you go through. I don't know why we chose 13, but you know, everyone else chooses 12, so we thought we'd try 13. Um, <laughs> Not an unlucky number. And um, each of those steps consists of, uh, of videos, of articles, of action plans, of, uh, of a quiz at, at the end of it all. And then you move on to the next, uh, the next one. As well as that, uh, we have a plan section. We have uh, with a variety of meal plans. And finally, an eat section with uh, some wonderful recipes, as well as some cooking demonstrations. Very simple, basic recipes and simple basic cooking demonstrations because we believe that people no longer know how to cook. And, they, and if you want to do something fancy, there's lots of fancy recipe books and TV programs for uh, incredibly exotic meals. But what we can't do is just uh, simple meals, how to cook eggs, how to cook a steak, how to do a bolognese sauce, etc. So as I said, scientifically proven, we're hoping that doctors will recommend this to, uh, to their patients. And uh, as well, we have we want to create a community, a Defeat Diabetes community of, of our subscribers who will be part of our closed Facebook group and uh, submit recipes and comments and thoughts and uh, their stories to this group. Because I, we believe, and our history shows, and the UK program has been very effective at that, is that people like to be part of a community of like-minded people who have similar challenges and similar problems. So we're hoping to develop that, uh, that program. We have uh, so-called experts. Uh, you, I'll leave you to decide whether that's an appropriate term. But uh, as well as myself, we have, uh, have Paul and uh, Nicole, who are both uh, here today and we're happy to talk to you about, uh, about defeat diabetes. And we've spent a lot of time uh, creating the video content and creating uh, literally, literally over 100 hours of video content, hundreds of, uh, of articles and uh, all the other things that are on, there, on the site. And we're very happy with the, with the content of the, of the program. The challenge now is, is to uh, get it out there among the diabetes uh, community. So there it is, the sort of sign up, the learn, the plan and eat, and then the sharing with the, uh, with the community. So that's our, uh, I guess that's my journey uh, from my own you know, low carb experience nine, nine years ago now, and then, uh, then uh, creating sugar by half, a fat lot of good, and now my passion is to, uh, is to defeat diabetes, which uh, despite what the rest of my medical colleagues say, is absolutely possible. Thank you.